Guys and girls, we're moving on with the zero budget restoration and Andy's caddy. Oh yeah. New Wheels Day. We went to one of the caddy meets. You guys saw the video, or the first couple of videos, and it's zero budget. Andy hasn't got loads of money, helping him out. When we went to one of the caddy meets, you guys gave him loads of bits, um, wheels, all sorts. Turns out he was given three sets of wheels. The two smaller sets, the 17s, they've done him a good turn, they really have, because they had uh, good tyres on them. Got him through his MOT, happy days. One of you guys gave him a set of 18s with no tyres needing a refurb. I had two tyres kicking around, and he's met, went and got two part-worn tyres. So we've got four tyres, four wheels, they're 18s, we're going to paint them. They've got a few chips, we need to make them look better, but let's get into it. Oh, Are yeah. Let's have a better look, see what we're working with. They are 18 inch, uh, I think they're Audi wheels, S-line wheels. I've had them on a couple of motors before. They're actually a nice wheel. I like a five spoke, clean, simple, and look really good. This one has got some black paint on it. He's tickled them off, and he spent a little while tickling them off. He's uh, done the edges, 320'd them, and if we look at, Andy, I had these set up, but never mind. Can you flip that one back over for me, please, bud? So Andy's already tickled them off. He's gone round them. He's smoothed off any scratches, any chips, any flaky paint. And then he's gone round the edge and he's sanded out some of the marks. You can still see little chip marks all around the outside. They've come up all right, but we can go a little bit more. You can take a little bit out of the alley, a little bit of the metal off, just to get even more chips out. There's one that I've gone over a bit more, and you can see around the edge that I've gone a little bit further, and all we've got left is a couple of little chips. So you can go a little bit further than you think. Normally, when you've got a factory wheel that hasn't been done, the paint's so thick that by the time you've sanded the paint back to Bear Alley, you've actually sanded most of the chips out. Um, I've got one more to do. Well, there's two more to do. And let me show you. So you can apply filler. You can apply filler in loads of the little chips, which is quite easy. Gets it done. It's just normal filler. It's not no special metal filler or anything like that. Normal car body filler. Works perfect. Doesn't come out. Does the same job. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time. I've got a panel sander. You can norm use a normal sander, but I'm on the panel sander. It's a little bit more aggressive. If you've got loads of chips, you might want to start with the 80 grit. This has already been smoothed out and he's already done a nice job. I'm just going to finesse it a little bit. I've got 120 on the panel sander and then once I've gone round the edge, the flat edge, I'm then going to run round the top edge. Then that's going to leave me a sharp line right on the corner. Paint don't like sticking to sharp lines, so then I'm going to get 120, nope, I'm going to get 180 in my hand, fold it over, and then I'm going to run around the edge after sanding it. That's going to take out my 120 marks, and it's just going to round off the lip. Going to roll the time lapse. Andy's working on the insides. Let's just quickly show this. The insides are a bit minging. We're going to paint the insides too. We've got old sticky weights. Andy has got a toffee wheel. On, a, on an air drill, you, you can use a normal drill, but uh, he's on the air drill. Toffee wheel gets all the weights off. He peels the weights off with a flathead screwdriver, anything. Use your blunt screwdriver, I'm not sure, just get them off. That's gonna leave some sticky marks. And he's gonna toffee wheel all them off, and then he's got some red scotch. We're painting them, uh, I won't tell you the color just yet, but we're painting them in a single stage, which is quite thick, so we can use red scotch. And he's on the inside. I'm on the outside, let's roll a time lapse.
We're in the booth. Wheels are all rubbed down. Rubbed them down. And in the time lapse yesterday, it was actually last night, sanded the lip down a little bit more, went round them, and then I went over them again with the 320. And that just smoothed out any of the rough marks. Andy can stand, sand stuff down, but uh, sometimes it's got to be perfect, finessed. Um, so I finished them last night, and then I got Andy to red scotch them, red scotch the face. We're painting them in a single stage, and a single stage is quite thick. So the colour and the shine is all in one, so no lacquer. But I got Andy to red scotch the face, and I think he'd stacked one on top of another. Because I come in and there's chips all around the wheels. Literally got them in the booth half hour ago. There's chips all around the wheels. I'm like, <sighs> quickly DA'd them off again anyway. Um, I cleaned the hell out of them. We've got the other three over there. We're on my spinny stand. <whistles> Homemade, z -Tech flywheel, flywheel off an engine, bit of pole and a wheel bearing. Makes it easier, you haven't got to move too much and uh, I can get inside nicely. Uh, I have put a splash of, uh, of primer on them. 2K high build primer, thinned it right down so it's really thin and it's gone on really smooth. And that is just to put some primer over the fillers so my paint won't soak into them and you won't see them. I'm not gonna rub this primer down, it's wet on wet. The primer is just about flashing off. I'm actually going to pick a different one because this one was done last. Primer is just flashing off. If I stuck my finger in it, it would leave an imprint, but it has flashed off. That type of painting is called wet on wet. Wet primer, let it flash off straight over with the paint. Because it's Monday and Wednesday is the last Wednesday of the month, which is the caddy meet. And, oh. Andy wants to get his wheels on, so we need to prime them, prime them, prime and paint them tonight. And then I need to fit all the tyres without marking them, so I need the paint to go rock hard. So I am going to paint them tonight, they'll sit all day tomorrow, <clears throat> and then I'll fit the tyres either the end of tomorrow or Wednesday morning, and then he can stick them on for the caddy mate. Anyway, just quickly, the way I like to paint wheels, I'm going to put colour on the top, a light coat, just a bit of a covering coat, and then while that's flashing off, I'll give the inside one coat. Um, and then by that time, this outside has started to flash off, so then I'll go back on with a wet coat. That way we can do it all in one go, rather than paint it, put it down, pick another one, put it down, pick it up. Little coat, Wet coat, wet coat. It works. They've only got to be quick anyway. You might find the odd chip in them. So if you see it at the caddy meet or at a show and you're like, oh, DTE, could have done a better job. I only done a little bit of the prep work, but my name's on them, so I've had to go over, go over them a little bit. But Andy's done a good job. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get on with painting. Where is the mask? I am going to put the mic down, so you guys are just going to have to listen and watch. I'll do some painting, then I'll roll into a time lapse because it might be quite boring, I don't know. So I've got to put the mic down. I'm going to turn my phone over so it doesn't get covered in paint. It's going to get noisy. Now just to make sure, because it has happened in the past, let me check it's recording. Yes, it's recording. If you guys have seen the channel before, you know what colour the wheels are going. Some of you are new to the channel, might love the colour, they're a bit like Marmite. And big shout out to my friend Mark, he absolutely loves this colour wheels, this one's for you. Let's get it done.
couple of days has passed. Paint has gone rock solid and they look good. I did give them a little polish with the polisher. When you paint wheels wet on wet, or when you paint anything wet or wet, i.e. lay your primer down, wait for it to flash off, and then go straight over with the paint. As the primer underneath dries, it pulls the shine out of the, uh, out of the paint that's on top. So I just lightly run the polisher over them. Remember, they've got my name on, so they need to be, they need to be right. Uh, literally, they haven't literally got my name on, but you know what I mean. We're ready, we're mounting the tyres. This is the nervous bit. I say nervous bit. I know my tyre machine and I haven't scratched an alloy, not being big headed, but I know my tyre machine very well and I haven't scratched an alloy in a long time. I've already done three. But it's always good to show a bit of practical. I am going to balance them after. Don't want him uh, bouncing up the road to blue water because it's Wednesday. It is last Wednesday of the month. Caddy mate. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, so we're going to balance them. You might not have seen in the time lapse when I painted them, but I left the valves in. Didn't tape them up. Painted straight over them. But I got fresh ones. And leaving the valves in stops the paint going in the hole. And then it hard to get a new valve in. A little bit of moisture on the valve. She's clamped in. And it turns out, oh, because we didn't have center caps. Uh, one of the wheels, one of the sets of wheels that you guys gave him at the caddy meet with the spokes. I oh, forget his name. I'm sorry if you see this. I have to remember a lot of names. But anyway, gave him a set of wheels and they had black R-line center caps. I'm a bit jealous if I'm honest, but they're gonna look good. And a set of wheels on any motor, whether it's a shed or a show queen, a set of wheels literally finishes it off. Um, not saying Andy's motor's a shed, of course, but it is gonna look Pelico. Oh, not the camera. So I had two part-worn Michelin tyres. If some of you seen previous videos, I can't remember what video it is. It was a while back, three months ago, four months ago, someone come being rude, asking if I had a time machine. I said, no, I haven't got a time machine. Well, I have, but it's broke. And then he said, yeah, I've got four 225 4018s that I'm giving away because I'm putting fresh ones on. I'm like, oh, well, my time machine does work because obviously I wanted his tyres. Uh, two of them, on the back, I've got two of them on my caddy right now, but the two on the back, his was a Mark 7 Golf, the mm -hmm. rear shock absorbers had gone. So it was only on the springs on the rear, and I've seen it in the past. When your rear shock absorbers go, not only are you bouncing up the road like you're on a pogo stick, but it ever so slightly damages the tire. And what I mean is, hopefully you can see, we've got individual bits of tire. It will wear this one down, not that one, wear this one down, not that one. So they're ever so slightly raised. He didn't want them. I would have had them on my motor. Oh, is that a dirty lens? Let me see. Oh, it is that one as well. That might be better. Anyway, I was saving them for my van, but Andy needs them. He's got, he went and picked up two part worn tires and they are Michelin's. Background noise. You guys know I don't like background noise on the videos, but some of you have commented saying, don't worry, it adds uh, character. So, background noise, we're going with it. Tire machine. I mentioned I'm all... all... I, I've mentioned that I'm gonna balance them. I've had to buy some weights from a balancer. Not gonna show you that, just gonna show you scratch, I mean, fitting one of these tires. 
without scratching. But it's normally when the camera's on, stuff goes wrong. Oh yeah. Fresh valves, fresh sticky weights, freshly balanced, good tyres, yeah, pucker. Anyway, I am going to blow this one up, obviously, put them on the balancer, balance them all, and we'll see what they look like and Andy's motor. Because it is one o'clock, started at eight o'clock this morning, I've already done half a day's body work for my pal, uh, and it's caddy meat, still need to wash mine, I've already done the inside the other day, need to wash mine, get Andy's wheels on, take the video for the caddy meet, so it looks like I'm flat out from 8am till 10, 11 o'clock tonight. But I don't mind, let's get it. So, nearly an hour has passed. And the reason an hour has passed is because my wheel balancer decided to be an idiot. Literally, oh. So we've got no, no bolt in the disc. Yeah, my wheel balancer, which is normally, oh, how annoying. Spot on, was playing silly buggers today. And I thought it was broke. I literally played with it for about half an hour. Pushing buttons, error codes. But I've got it working. I'm Unfortunately, one of the wheels is quite buckled to the point it's fine, it's safe, but you might feel it. Um, so we're going to have to keep our eyes open for one more alloy. 18 inch A4S line wheel, I believe. We'll keep our eyes open for a new wheel. But this one will be fine for now. And when it's parked up, obviously no one can see the wheels buckled. It's fine. One more crapper. Those ghetto R-line centre caps don't fit. Boo for Andy, yay for me. I believe they fit mine, so I'm going to try them in a little while. Well, I'm probably not going to try them today. Because it means taking all the wheels off to get the centre caps out. And no, I'm not banging a screw through it to get the centre caps out. Because I'll do that, and then the centre caps won't fit. I'll have screw holes in the centre caps. Anyway, these are looking pucker. I just want to check it over, give it a wiggle, spin the wheels. It passed its MOT recently, actually, didn't it, And yes, it did, um, I'm going to have a better butchers of it, though, because it is a bit of a jaunt. Have a better look, uh, or have a look at it. We'll get it outside and see how these look, but I can already tell they are looking good. Happy so far, And? Yeah. Happy days. Let's get it outside. Weather's a bit crap, but I can see a little bit of sun creeping its head through, poking its head through. Overall, it's a bit windy too. Hopefully there ain't too much wind noise. How good do those wheels look? Andy, are you happy with that? I'm well happy, mate. They are mint. Love it. They do look good. Um, it looks so good from this side. This is the better side. The other side is a little bit ropey, but we're going to do the body work another day. Not the biggest update today, but it is an update nevertheless we get back from the caddy meet tonight we're going to move on with the front end swap we've got a v2 tour and front end swap if my editing skills or i don't forget i'll add a picture of what the front end looks like now and that is going on this um that looks absolutely pucker that is really good um 
Anyway, I still haven't done anything to my motor. It is half two, quarter to three. Wait there, matey boy, I'm doing a video. There's someone just turning up in his motor, but he's going to have to wait. I am going to get my caddy out, give it a wash. Give us a minute, sir. Get my caddy out, give it a wash. Hopefully the sun comes out and we can, uh, we can crack on. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, mate. 